we got a call for a Jeep Cherokee that's disabled out here in the Maze Trail. We're heading up here to see if we can get him out. Back to safety. We're meeting Rudy up here. I think he's waiting for us just over a couple dunes. My dad invited me because this is a little bit more difficult trail and the Morver is out of commission with a bad transmission right now. So it's just the banana and the Rudicon. Got Ed here with the weather. Yeah, it's clear today, nice sunny day, getting warm, a little windy, but not bad. And you'll notice something different. I have a yellow shirt on. I'm matching the banana. We're twinning today, but the only size that came in was kids large. So this is a kids large, and it's a little bit small, Woo! but it'll be okay. Binding and forward, or is it yeah, just a it traction? It'll just lock the rear end. That's a fancy shirt you got in there, Lizzie. I know. Does it clash with my green hat? I kind of like it. Oh, you do? Okay, it's John Deere colors green and yellow. Oh. I just saw it in your sunglasses. <laughs> so, Rudy, he's saying it's binding going forward. I drove one on the highway like this. It was binding really bad at low speed, but once you got going, it would just start, start and then start singing. So maybe when we're crawling out of here, we should drive it backwards. So what were you doing? I'm trying to go up a face and popped up. All the weight came back on the rear and it went sing. Drive shaft's fine, but yeah, it totally broke the pinion. Let's hook you onto it, Rudy. Hey, Lizzie, I'm going to put you in this. I'm going to jump in that. So Ed broke the pinion shaft right where it went into the differential. You've got the drive shaft disconnected, I assume? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. No, it'll it'll roll backwards, they say, real easy. So we're going to take it out up there, figure out how we're going to down. We'll get... You got a trailer or...? Yeah, it's at the parking lot in, in the... Inside tent hall. Yes. Area there. Okay. I'm going to do my best. Okay. I will do mine. Are we just planning on going backwards all the way out? All the way up until we get up there and we'll figure it out. Okay. walking up you going all the way in reverse I don't know I don't need to know where I'm going I just need to know where I've been or something like that what does he say it sounds about right yeah it's about right I'm gonna try to go down the bobsled what's the bobsled just a smooth, a smooth road out of here hopefully beast bump Trevor want to turn on the ah. trans cooler yeah. Yeah. Sure, if anyone's done the whole trail just in reverse, yeah, we're gonna have three or four miles under our belt. I hope 
episode two. Go birdie. Go birdie out here. Run, Trevor, run! <laughs> Job, How Trevor. you doing, Michael? So what do you think, Ed? Crazy. There's a lot of backing up, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm good, I'm not. That's all we need is these little people to run around a video. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that, they're listening to you. <laughs> Please don't stop. They've been talking about you on the radio. Said all these little cameramen running around are pretty funny. <laughs> Funnily awesome. Well, how was it? Long and arduous. What you think, Lizzie? That was a nice little drive. You're already too sunny. You don't need that shirt on. I'm already too sunny. Too sunshiny. What do you think, Rudy? Let's give us some final thoughts. I think we got him out. What more can you ask? Exactly, it's, it's a good day. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Lizzie, appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. So the pinion shaft had broken and the way it was binding up in there, you could drive it backwards, but not forward. So probably drove it out about three miles. What do you think, Ed? Yeah, about five miles of back on that. Guess what? It's time for job number seven. That's a long tally mark. I couldn't see. <laughs> so we got a call for a truck that's stuck out here near Sand Hollow Resort. I think this is the second time we've helped this guy. We're gonna head out there and see if we can get him out again. It is a beautiful day today. It rained last night, so everything's greening up. It's springtime. It's about 65 degrees right now, and it's just getting warmer. Follow along for the ride. Hi, Caleb. Hi. We what? got the dogs with us today. We got Lady back here, and then we got Turbo as always. So Max stayed back in the yard doing Max things. are about where they want to be for now. Just gonna have to kind of watch and see where I'm at. I'm gonna go find the end of the rope and then back up. And then when I go, you go. I couldn't tell where I was going for a minute and these mirrors like I cannot see anything behind me. Anyway, we got it. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. I, I didn't yeah. lose faith in you. I knew you'd get me out. <laughs> Load up. Good girl. Come yeah. on, Turbo. Load up. <laughs> I doubt I'll even try. <laughs> so last time we pulled that guy out, he was stuck right down here. It took a couple of pulls, but we were able to pull it out with a banana. It's still hard at work and still likes its job. So we got a call for a razor that's broke down here south of the Utah border in Arizona. We're gonna head down here, see if we can get it out. We got Jamie with the weather. It is a bright, sunshiny day. It's like 75 degrees, probably. It's nice, and we'll get them out. Over a hundred feet. Over a hundred feet. And guess what? 
That looks like that's it right there. Let you work your magic, brother. We'll go figure it out. Yeah, thanks, dude. <laughs> been out here tons though you even doing well we personally out here. here playing but not recovery so it's been a while i'm doing terrible at this filming today yeah yes your head's not in the game <laughs> it's not at all I'm struggling today. We have a missing kid. <laughs> out of, missing, out he's of, lost. He's lost, he's not missing, out of the Coral Peak sand dunes. So we might have to go recover him after this. So I've kind of been thinking about that. Look at that, you know how to tie a bow. See, they teach that Boy Scouts. Yep. <laughs> I thought they Way taught you back. fancier knots than, than bows. I'm not good at tying knots. So I tie lots and lots. <laughs> Dang it. That's the weird thing. <laughs> All right, so what happened is this wheel that's kind of doing its own thing um, it was kind of vertical, and when it got pressure against it, it laid over and shoved the whole thing that way. So we're trying to get this pulled back. I've got a bigger trailer design sort of in the works. All right, is that locked stuff again? Oh, it's not. Okay, I can get it. We just got to get it far enough to get this ramp back on, make sure that thing doesn't happen again. this ramp so it won't slip over this wheel is going to be off the side of the trailer there's just no two ways around it but it's trying to shove the back of this over we're trying to keep it from doing that while not losing the ramp all right we're gonna get this turned around So to get you these shots, I hiked across this little thing here. Holy smokes. 
I'm starting to feel bad for Trevor. You You're driving out here faster than I would. We're making good time. Oh, good. Well, With your good. complete and utter disregard for the trailer tires. I'm. Uh, you're like I'm, killing it. I'm watching. Well, Trevor, I'm slightly sorry because I you feel your pain. Whew. Oh, wow. We're through the first cord. Yeah, I'd say those springs are sprung. This trailer is super hard. It's a really short trailer with a pendle hitch. The only thing that makes this more difficult is if we were in the sand. Well, in this truck, this trailer with this rig on it, it's getting close to outweighing the banana. Yeah, so it, it was kinda, boss. Kind of bossy. It did. It bossed us around a couple turns. 